Hello, welcome back to my channel. So a couple days ago, Steve Donahue put out a video about his master reading plan for 2023. And it was a response video to a video that Michael K. Vaughn had done, which was a response video to a video originally done by Ollie over at the channel Crim and Ollie. And at the end of Steve's video, he put out a call to action saying that if anyone else wants to do a similar video talking about their master reading plans for 2023, he would be very interested in watching those. And uh, then James Holder over at his channel posted a video, um, I think the same day or the day after Steve's video, um, responding with his master reading plan for 2023. And so I thought that I would jump on the bandwagon as well and talk a little bit about my reading plans uh, for 2023 as well. So I will link to all of the videos down below, Ollie's video, Michael's video, Steve's video, and James's video, so you can be sure to go and check those out if you have not already seen them. They all have fantastic channels, and it would do you good to subscribe to all of them if you have not already. So I have already done a video earlier this year talking about my reading plans, how I am approaching my reading in 2023. Uh, but for any of those, for those of you who have not seen that video, um, my my big change this year to my reading is pulling back from having any sort of numerical goal. So in years uh, before, in years previous, I have set uh, goals for myself of how many books I want to read, typically using the Goodreads Reading Challenge. And this is the first year that I have decided to opt out of the Goodreads Reading Challenge. I was finding myself really getting caught up in the chase of trying to accumulate books read instead of focusing on actually reading books and enjoying the experience of being in a book for a while and living in a book and really just soaking up everything I can from the experience of actually reading instead of just rushing and sort of trying to find my natural reading pace. I know I can read quickly because I have shown that to myself that I can read quickly, but I don't get as much out of a book when I read it quickly. So my biggest goal for 2023 is to slow down my reading, focus more on the experience itself and less on having a big stack of books read at the end of the year. If I still get a lot read this year, I'm going to be very happy Obviously, if I only get a you know a small stack of books read, I'm still going to be happy with myself um, because I'm sort of pulling away from any sort of goal that I have to achieve in order to have some sort of you know status as as a true reader. Because reading, all 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 reading is is actually reading. So as long as we're reading, we're all readers. There's no uh, you know there's no uh, trophy for reading a certain amount of books in a year. So that is my biggest change to my reading in 2023. Um, as far as a master plan for my reading goes, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a master plan in my case as far as a master idea of how I would like to structure my reading in 2023. And there are a few, um, I don't want to say challenges necessarily that I am trying to uh, you know, put myself up against, but maybe just some some loose goals or just some some things that I would like to see myself accomplish if possible. Um, one of those falls under my uh, history reading, which is I would love to be able to read everything written about Catherine the Great in English. So for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, I am a big nonfiction history reader. I have a particular interest in Imperial Russian history, specifically reading about Catherine the Great. Uh, and I have a couple of her biographies under my belt already. Uh, but there's, you know, there's a sea of material before me that I have not dived into at all yet. And so that's a big goal for me that I would love to see myself achieve in 2023 is to be able to read everything that I can. Um, every, you know everything in English about Catherine the Great, um, and then trying to uh, continue my reading on Queen Victoria as well. Um, I don't want to say trying to read everything about Queen Victoria that's written in English because there is so much more about Queen Victoria written in English than uh, Catherine the Great that's written in English, uh, and so that would be impossible to do both of those in a year. But uh, one one uh, sort of loose goal of mine is just to read more about those two historical figures, um, among others. But right now, those are the two historical figures that I have been most drawn to, that I've uh, most enjoyed spending time with and learning about. And so um, 
I would love to be able to sort of further that that uh, that learning journey of Catherine the Great and Queen Victoria going on into 2023. And then um, another another thing that I would like to see more of in my reading life is getting back into reading classics again. Uh, so the beginning of last year, I was reading almost p completely uh, classic literature. I wasn't reading as much uh, historical nonfiction as I'm reading now. I would really like to see myself bring back in some classics into my my reading diet, not to switch completely back over to classics, uh, but just to bring some more into my reading. I don't want to um, become too stagnant and only reading one thing and then sort of shutting my brain off to the other wonderful books that are out there. I want to kind of have a varied reading diet in 2023 so that I have, you know, I so, so I'm bringing in new new thoughts, new ideas uh, into into my head and not just getting too stuck on one subject. I do love sort of getting completely absorbed by one thing, by one subject, and, you know, just reading, um, you know, extensively about it. But I also want to make sure that in that process, I'm not sort of putting horse blinders on and forgetting about the all of the other fantastic books um, and authors that are out there that I could be reading. And that, to some extent, I don't want to say I should be reading because there's really no book you should be reading, but books that I want to read to be able to join the conversation that's going on about those, uh, you know, particular titles or to have a frame of reference for, you know, for certain, um, you know, large works of classic literature that I haven't gotten to yet. The biggest example that sticks out to me right now is Moby Dick, which I'm actually planning on reading uh, in March as a buddy read, hopefully. Um, and so I will be getting that one checked off of, um, you know, my mental list that, that I've been wanting to check off for a long time in just a couple months. So that's going to be really good. Um, but that's just, you know, again, a, a very loose goals for 2023, trying to not have too many uh, super strict guidelines for myself going uh, into this reading year, trying to really just approach it a month at a time as, uh, you know, as, as the year unfolds, taking on each month um, as a new entity, seeing what reading I want to do in that month, how to make it happen the best for me. But not stressing out at the end of the day if I don't get to a certain goal or or do you know or get to all the books that I want to get to because obviously there are way more books than time to read them uh, and that's true for everyone um, and so you sort of have to accept that fact and then figure out how to get you know how to make the most out of the reading time um, that I do have and so those are just some of my loose plans for going into 2023. Um, if you would also like to make a video of your master plan for 2023. Um, it's not necessarily a tag video, but it's sort of a, a, a video that seems to be sticking around a book too for a while here as a, a bit of a theme at least. Uh, so if you would like to make one, I would absolutely love to see it. Um, and I know Steve would also really be interested in seeing it as well. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you would like, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy reading and bye for now.